In this video, we're gonna do an unboxing and a tasting of this JoJo's chocolate. Mm. Mm. Hey guys, so welcome to this video. So out of the blue, I decided to make a random video on this JoJo's chocolates. Um, funny thing, literally yesterday, I was talking to my friend, shout out to MC. She showed me this Instagram that's purely about Costco and Costco snacks and the new things that they have at Costco. How many times did I say Costco? One of the things that she showed me on this Instagram page was JoJo's chocolate. And apparently it's like this new cool thing that's for like health freaks or I don't even know. I don't, I don't consider this to be for health freaks because I'm not really a health freak, but I like this kind of stuff. I'm a freak though, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Anyways, let me try to read it out to you guys, right? This is JoJo's Guilt-Free Chocolates. Um, it says right here, kick the craving. So this is perfect for smokers. Just kidding. I think, I think it's mainly for people who are like trying to watch their sugar intake and all that stuff. There's some almonds, 70% dark chocolate, pistachios, some non-GMO protein, and they even got a little dumbbell to signify that. That's so adorable. Oh, we've got some dried cranberries in there. Um, good thing not the dingle kind. And also there is 14 bars in here. All right, let's go into the whole nutrient contents of this thing. It is 160 calories per bar. 12 grams of fat, six grams saturated fats, 12 grams of carbs, and four grams of that being dietary fiber, eight grams of sugar, and five grams of protein. Pretty excited based on the whole nutrient contents. If you're trying to go low fats on your diet or in your lifestyle, definitely this is one that is kind of like a very big guilty pleasure, the fact that it has 12 grams of fats. But then again, if you are a person that is just being paleo or keto this is definitely one that you can consider um yeah 12 grams of carbs that's not too bad blood sugar isn't gonna rise too much um but yeah totally totally for it well i don't know if it's keto because there is actually it is this is totally keto yeah this is keto and it's gluten-free i'm gonna stop rambling anyways let me read the back there's like a story about how it was created so, I'm gonna read the story real quick, all right? Or the notes. It says, Hey, it's Jojo. In May 2012, I unexpectedly di uh, I was unexpectedly, unexpectedly. I need my glasses. So, I could not find my glasses. Sorry, ladies. So, in May 2012, I unexpectedly was diagnosed with breast cancer while battling through treatments. The sugar cravings. I tried countlessly healthy chocolate snacks, but either it was terrible or left me feeling guilty. I was, tor I was torn. I was torn between my love for chocolate and trying to get a healthier life. I needed a better solution. Well, look at it. Then I ran into an old friend who recently lost 50 pounds. He kicked his sugar cravings by eating a piece of dark chocolate every day. That's a good idea. I went straight to my kitchen and after college attempts to perfect my recipe. Delicious and satisfying dark chocolate bark. Woof. Anyways, sounds like she had breast cancer. She was like trying to watch her sugar cravings and dark chocolate helped her to kick her cravings. Let's just jump into this mother trucker and try it, right? Shut up, Jeff. All right, cool. Jojo's chocolate unboxing or unpackaging. That's how it opens. This is how it looks. This is how it opens in a Ziploc. Not really a Ziploc, but a package. Gosh, I hope this is not boring, you guys, as I freaking talk so much. But, all right, so this is what it looks like, guys. Straight up, I thought it was individually wrapped, which is probably better if they did that. So, heads up, Jojo, you should probably give that a shot shot, all right? But, so far it smells super chocolatey. Can you guys smell that? Here, scratch and sniff. Don't rip your screen up and break it apart, but. Smells good. Looks legit. Look at that. How healthy. How healthy looking, right? There's some dried cranberries, pistachios, and everything else that was listed on top of the cover. Again, it smells super chocolatey. It smells just like dark chocolate. Cool, right? I'm gonna break it up right here. Show you guys how it looks like. <laughs> no ooey gooeyness, but that's how it cracks. Hmm. Mm mm mm. Hmm. Mmm, that's good. 
<clears throat> All right, first bite. It was seriously like, it was a little crispy from the nuts that was roasted and toasted or whatever it was. And then it just melted in your mouth from the dark chocolate. <coughs> Choking here. And then it just melted in your mouth from the dark chocolate. It's weird, it doesn't have the fatty texture that you normally get from a Hershey's bar or uh, any or any other type of chocolate bar that you find on the counter. But instead it has like a, you get the chocolate, instead you do have the chocolate taste which you want, but at the same time it doesn't leave that fatty residue in your mouth that melts in there. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's, you get your chocolate craving, it's crispy, but soft, it's crispy, it's crispy, it melts in your mouth, and you don't have that fat layer that's stuck on your tongue after eating a chocolate bar. So this is effing great, I love it. I totally support it. If you're watching your diet or trying to eat healthy, trying to stay away from too much processed carbs, and you're doing the whole paleo thing or the keto thing, this is definitely one to consider. I don't know if it, this probably has more sugar than you'd want if you're doing keto, but paleo, definitely, definitely, definitely do it. Definitely give it a shot. I love it. Um, yeah, the heck, five grams of protein. Um, they market, again guys, they market it as like a, yeah, five grams of protein, they market it right there. If this is not really a protein bar. You don't want to like rely on this as your protein source. <coughs> You don't want to really rely on this as your protein source. Definitely, if you're craving something chocolatey, craving something sweet, if you're doing a healthier lifestyle thing, and you want to crave that, crave that cravings that it says right here, kill, kick the craving. If you want to kick your cravings, this is definitely gonna kick your cravings in the ball sack. Um, I like it. Delicious. I'm gonna eat the rest of this. I'm, it's like slowly melting in my finger as I'm talking to you guys. But anyways guys, thanks for watching this video. You know guys, I have not made a video in the past two months. I apologize. I've just been so caught up with work and a lot of emotional stuff that I was kind of going through that kind of made me want to stay away from YouTube for a while. If you guys want, let me know. I'll make a video about why I stayed away from YouTube for such a long time. And I kind of do want to share with you guys. So comment down below and say that you want me to make that video so I make it. Cool. If it's the first time seeing this face on YouTube, and basically if it's the first time seeing me on YouTube, be sure to like this video and be sure to subscribe to see more of me. I'm Jeff. Jeff Kidding is my channel. I do random videos regarding reviews, whether it's a review on food, like I'm doing right now, or a review at restaurants, or whether I'm just doing fitness videos or random other topics. I just do videos. Again, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your guys' time. Be sure to like this video, be sure to eat healthy, eat some chocolates. Am I right ladies, you need your chocolate and wine. And Desperate Housewives or Sex in the City. I don't even know what you girls do nowadays. Thanks for your time guys. I hope you guys enjoy this video. God bless you and have the best day ever. I, I, I,